Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another The Truth Behind the Glow Up video. This is a series that I am currently obsessed with and it's where we delve into the glow ups or the grow ups of the world's most famous celebrities, the most beautiful influencers. We look at never before seen pictures that I spend hours searching for online because guys, it is so hard to find like candid pictures of celebrities from before they were famous. Like I literally spent hours upon hours scrolling through Google trying to find these pictures. So if you like this series, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll make more of them for you. And also let me know in the comments who you want me to do next. So far in this series, we have done Gigi Hadid, Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber, Rihanna and Dove Cameron. And in today's Today's video we are doing the beautiful, absolutely stunning Madison Beer. Now this video is not sponsored by anyone guys, <laughs> but if you want to support me and you want to support my channel, you may check out my eyeshadow palette. This is the eyeshadow palette that I created. It is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette in the entire world. If you're ever wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes in any of my YouTube videos from the last year, it is always my own eyeshadow palette. This palette would make the most beautiful early Christmas present to yourself. I'll link it in the description box down below for you guys. So who is Madison Beer? Who is Madison Beer? Madison Beer is a 22 year old singer and influencer and she has over 22 million followers on Instagram. So she is huge. She has huge influence and there are literally thousands upon thousands of young girls who think that Madison is not only face goals, like she is absolutely beautiful, but body goals too. However, in the Truth Behind the Glow Up videos, we look at old pictures and we discover whether these celebrities and influencers were born this way or have they had a few Hollywood upgrades. So when you look at these pictures of Madison from her early teenage years, although it's still clearly Madison Beer, like she hasn't bought herself a whole new face or anything like that, there are a few differences that I have noted. Let's start with her lips. It is in my humble opinion, and remember this is just my opinion, I have no proof, it is in my opinion that Madison may have had lip fillers, which definitely isn't unusual in the world of influencers and celebrities. I feel like every girl and her dog has had lip fillers. And the reason I think that is because when you look at older pictures of Madison, her lips were quite thin naturally, especially her top lip. And especially when she smiled, her top lip kind of like curled under and stretched out and was not very visible at all, which is so cute. I don't know why everyone feels like they have to get lip fillers now, like having thin lips is not a flaw. Thin lips really, really suit some people. And in my humble opinion, again, I personally think that thin lips actually really suited Madison. More is not always more. And in the case of lip fillers, I feel like some people literally look better and suit their natural lips so much more. Like lip fillers do not suit everybody. For me, I feel like with Madison, because she has such delicate petite features, I feel like delicate petite lips suited her face more than like super big pouty like filled lips. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. I just feel like lip fillers are not for everyone. Another thing to note is that Madison's original lips actually look very similar to her father Robert's lips. So this is Robert Bia, this is Madison's dad, and I think they actually look really, really similar, especially when they smile, they have really similar smiles. And again, it's not unusual for a daughter to resemble her father, that is kind of how genetics works. Now, just like basically every other influencer on the face of the earth, Madison basically denies getting any tweakments or any surgery or any alterations to her face. In fact, she goes to great lengths to deny ever changing her face. Like she gets really worked up over it. And to be honest, guys, if she actually actually hasn't done anything to her face. Like if she actually hasn't had any tweakments and there's like a load of people saying she has, I can empathize and I can understand why she would get really frustrated by that. Like I get frustrated when people accuse me of having a nose job because I haven't, I'm just epic contouring. However, there are some influencers that deny altering their appearance at all, but you can clearly see with your own eyes that they have. In my opinion, that is a little bit disingenuous because although you don't have to admit to anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, like if you have have had tweakments to your face, but you don't actually want to tell the world, you don't have to, that's your right. However, to deny it can be a little bit damaging for your audience, especially if you have a large audience of younger girls, because they are looking at you as like a kind of role model and trying to emulate you. And when they see that you've had this dramatic glow up and puberty has like done wonders for you, and yet puberty hasn't been as kind to them, they can wonder why. So I think it's important to be honest if you are an influencer or celebrity and you have a huge audience. That's just my two cents. Anyway, I digress. When I was researching for 
for this video, one article popped up that I thought was quite interesting. And in this article, it basically said that Madison was caught hiding behind a bush <laughs> outside the Epione Clinic in Beverly Hills, which is one of the top cosmetic and plastic surgery clinics in the US. Now, why would Madison be hiding behind a bush at a plastic surgery clinic in Beverly Hills? Very mysterious. Interestingly enough, the plastic surgeon that works and I believe owns Epion Clinic is Dr. Simon Urian and I have seen him on that TV show. I think it's botched so he's like a super famous plastic surgeon and tweakment specialist to celebrities and to the stars and to the influencers. So my first thought when I saw Madison hiding behind the bush outside his clinic was that she was obviously there for tweakments. However, Madison hit back to those claims and said that she was there to have a mole removed which to be honest is a perfectly reasonable explanation for that. So although Madison does go to great lengths to deny ever getting any alterations or tweakments to her face, she did once admit to getting lip filler. She said that she tried lip filler when she was younger, but she hated the way it looked and she got it dissolved. Which you totally can do. Lip filler is not permanent. Lip filler is not plastic surgery. So if you don't like it, you can either have it dissolved or just wait for it to kind of dissolve on its own. However, if you look at more recent pictures of Madison and you zoom into her lips, you can see that her lips are still way bigger and way poutier and way fuller than they were when she was younger. The next change I've noticed in Madison's appearance from when she was younger compared to now is that when she was younger, she had a very prominent brow. In fact, she had a kind of like heavy brow that sat kind of low on her eyelids. Her brows were super dark, super full and super prominent. Also, if you zoom into Madison's older pictures, you can see that she had slightly hooded eyes. It is in my opinion that Madison may have had what's known as a foxy eye lift. And just like lip filler, the foxy eye lift is so, so, so common in the influencer and celebrity world. Like I can think of at least 20 different influencers and celebrities like off the top of my head that I'm pretty certain have had the foxy eye lift. And the reason is, is because the foxy eye lift is not like dramatic surgery. You don't have to go into hospital and stay there for days and have your bones knocked about. You literally go in, the surgeon will lift up your eyebrow and your eyelid and kind of pull it taut like that and then sew it into place like that. So you get this really awesome awesome like lifted effect. Your eyebrow is lifted up at the ends. It gives you that real kind of like supermodel cat eye effect that is apparently so popular these days. And when you compare older pictures, and when I say older pictures, I'm not talking about like childhood pictures. Remember, Madison is only 22. So when I say older pictures, I only mean from like five years ago. And honestly guys, your bone structure and your face should not change like super, super, super dramatically over the space of five years. So as you can see between these two pictures, it looks like her eyebrow positioning has changed. Like it looks like it's higher and more like slanted up towards the ends rather than drooping downwards. And it looks like she has more eyelid space now. So her eyes aren't as hooded as they used to be when she was younger. Now there are a lot of rumors online that Madison has also undergone a nose job and that is another super popular, super common thing to happen in Hollywood and in the influencer world. I feel like everyone and their cat has had a nose job even if they didn't need it. Like in my opinion, as long as you can breathe through your nose and you don't have any like issues getting oxygen into your body, then your nose is bloody perfect. You don't need to change it. And when you compare all the pictures of Madison. Two more recent pictures. I really don't see a huge difference in her nose. Nothing that would make me think that she's actually gone ahead and had surgical rhinoplasty. Although in saying that, I do think she perhaps she might face tune her nose smaller in her Instagram pictures. Again, super common. I've done that myself. Not recently, don't at me. But back a few years ago when I was super insecure about my nose, I used to edit the crap out of my nose. And if you go back to my old Instagram pictures from like three or four years ago and zoom in on my nose, you'll probably be able to tell. Now, one tweakment I think that Madison might have had is her jaw. And I feel like that's a really random one. That's not one I come across a lot in these videos. I feel like for the most part, people kind of like leave their jaws alone. However, on Instagram, I feel like there's been this big push recently to have this like super chiseled, like super straight angular jawline. And not a lot of humans have that naturally. So I feel like loads of people actually like facetune their jaw differently in Instagram pictures. And that would have been my theory with Madison only for the fact that I saw paparazzi pictures of Madison where her jaw looked super angular and super sharp. It almost looks like she might have is it an underbite or an overbite where it's like actually a dental issue where your jaw comes out just that little bit too far to make your bite 
like even, and it could also be filler. So what they do with filler to give you that really sharp, really defined, really strong jawline is they will literally inject like a load of filler like right here to kind of square that area off and then they'll inject more filler along your jawline to your chin and then they will inject more filler into your chin so you get a longer pointier chin and they kind of build your jawline up so that way if you have like a double chin or like a weak jawline they can literally create the illusion of a whole new jawline just with filler when you look at younger pictures of Madison it didn't look like she had that super sharp super defined jawline whereas now in more recent pictures she she really does. So I don't know, maybe she just grew up and her jawline grew with her. Maybe it's filler, maybe it's face sheen, maybe it's nothing, I don't know. Now one thing I like to add into these glow up videos just to show you guys that these influencers and celebrities are in fact just regular human beings. Like they are not perfect, nobody is perfect, perfection is boring, is I like to include the celebrity or influencers quirks. Now some people consider quirks to be flaws, I personally don't think that anyone has flaws. We are human beings, we are not products manufacturers in a factory so we don't have flaws so I don't actually see a whole lot of quirks on Madison's face but one thing I really love is her cute ears like she has the cutest ears I remember when I was in primary school there was a boy in my class whose ears were kind of like Madison's and he used to get bullied the poor guy so badly for his ears like people were calling him Dumbo and all sorts of horrible names and he was obviously super insecure about it because he was off school for a couple of weeks and then he came back and his ears had been pinned back there's like actually a surgery you can do whatever they do they go in and they like surgically pin your ears back and obviously Madison being a super rich celebrity and influencer could easily have this done if she wanted to but she hasn't I guess she likes her ears and I love that I love when people like embrace their quirks because it's our quirks that make us interesting to look at and make us different to other people if none of us had quirks and we all looked the same like I would be so bored looking at other people now if you are not subscribed to my channel but you're interested in Madison beer I suggest you click the subscribe button because tomorrow I'm filming a video reacting to Madison beer in real life that sounds so weird what that means is I am filming one of my reacting to influencers in real life videos so that's where we compare you know like Instagram pictures to like real life pictures and I like doing those kinds of videos and you guys love them too so don't forget about my little palette in the description box down below if you guys are in the market for a new eyeshadow palette. This is the best one in the world. Yes, I am biased because it's the one I made, but honestly, guys, it is so good. All right, love you lots, guys. Bye.